today's problem to fix is this door stopper. I'm going to replace it with this stainless steel magnetic one. It's not only magnetic, but it has a fine spring buffer, which absorbs the force of closing the door too hard. The old one did its job, but now it's time for something new. And yeah, because this wasn't working. Here's all the stuff that I needed to complete this job. And the star of the show is the magnetic doorstop. My kit contained two of them. I got the silver one, but the door stoppers come in different styles and colors, like this cool black one. And this white one. Modern looking one. A gold one, or brass. You can even install it on the floor. I'm installing mine on the wall, so let's get going. I had tried using the 3M adhesive tape that came with my package, but it didn't work for me because I was trying to apply it on drywall. And my drywall is not smooth and flat. So I'm going to show you how I did this using the screws. This is the doorstop that I will be installing. I really like the idea of the magnet. And of course, it's more modern looking. My first step is trying to decide where I'm going to install it. I don't want to put it too close to the corner because the drywall has this corner bead or trim and you don't want to be screwing anything into that. The drywall corner bead looks something like this or this. So I'm going to stay away from that and move it away from the corner. This looks about right. Using the piece that came with the doorstop, I'm going to use that, place it where I want the doorstop, and then mark where I'm going to drill into the wall. This is the anchor that came with my kit, so I used a 1 4th drill bit to make sure the anchor would go into the wall. Here's an illustration of how it works. First you drill into it, then you tap it, then you screw it in. As you're screwing it in, the bottom expands, which holds it in tight. I started off by hand tightening it, and once I felt some pressure, I pushed it in all the way and then tightened it using the crescent wrench, but don't over tighten it. Next, screw in that long piece, but remember, don't over tighten it. This part was my favorite part removing that old ugly doorstop. To fill in that hole, I just used spackling. This spackling has like a pink tint to it, but it dries white. But you know what? I still haven't repainted it and it still looks pretty good. See? Pretty good. Okay, now to install the other part. So place it on the doorstop. Close the door. Decide if that's where I want it. And it is. Then get my pencil out and mark the placement. I took this piece apart because I need to get to where I'm going to put my pilot holes for the screws.
This may be overkill, but I like to place pilot holes. That way it makes it easier for me to put the screw in. And yes, here's my OCD. I really don't need to erase the pencil marks because no one's going to see them. So really stop it. So the screws went in nice and easy. Really didn't even need to use my drill. I could have just used a screwdriver. But this is like my favorite tool. So whenever I can, I love to use it. Here comes the last step, is to screw that last piece on. And we're done. Yep. It looks so good and it works great. No more of this stuff. This was installed on a lightweight hollow door. Thank you for watching.